We just got to Valencia. You know what time it is. It's time for another video. Getting ready to go. I have a pimple that I did not have five minutes ago. Is that even possible? How long has it been since I looked at myself in the mirror? Um, you ignore that. You ignore that. Um, anyway, it's time for another traveling video. And this time we're going to be getting ready to go to Spain. And so the flight is tomorrow at night. So I still have like 24 hours. No, actually the flight leaves in exactly 24 hours. I can't believe that. Oh my God. So right behind me, we have our massive bag and this is where I'm going to be packing all the stuff that I'm going to be taking. I have also got this bag that I have no idea. Wait, what does this have inside? This. Oh, this is, it's like a little traveling kit. Oh my God, this is so cute. So we have like two of these things to cover your eyes on the plane. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this thing, this is so cute. And we have like this plain beige one. We have some earplugs. What is this? Um, oh, okay. It's an essential oil patch. So this helps with like falling asleep. It's lavender, by the way. And then we have another essential oil. Okay. I'm guessing they help fall asleep or something. And then we have like this small toothbrush and toothpaste situation for the plane. It is going to be a very long flight. It's probably like 12 hours. So it's half a day and last thing we have are these these are the cutest socks i have ever seen in my life these are so cute you guys okay i can't even um anyway so it is gonna be a very long flight so we are going to be having a little bit of a traveling vlog i am traveling in economy i am not traveling in business class or anything which is kind of sad but it's totally fine because we're going to madrid anyway so like and we have this hat as well. This is for like the, it's not gonna be snowing, but it's gonna be very cold, so. Kind of fits me. I look kind of crazy, but this looks, it doesn't look bad. It just looks, it looks so crazy. I look like I'm about to conquer Spain. Um, anyway, so you guys, um, probably, I didn't record this, but um, I did change my nails from last time. And now I have these like, pink hearts on my nails and they're like they're so cute they're like so cute but i really love my acrylics and oh my gosh i can't stop staring at my purple anyway we also have another bag here and this is gonna be for like i have no idea we're, we're gonna find a use to it if we don't it's fine but yeah we have our massive gigantic bag here it's kind of heavy. We're gonna start packing right now. I'm gonna be showing you everything I pack and how I get ready to go to the airport and pretty much my whole day tomorrow. And then I'm gonna be recording the vlog where I am traveling around Madrid and everything I'm seeing, but that's gonna be for another video. So we're gonna be doing two separate videos. I might even do a part two, depending on how much content I actually get from when I'm over there. It's gonna be 10 days. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot of content. So. We'll see. We'll see. So here lies the enormous bag. It's really deep. It's very big. So I'm guessing I'm going to be able to pack a lot of things here, which is good because I'm going to be taking a lot of outfits. We are going to be staying 10 days over there. So I think I might reuse some outfits because since we're staying in an Airbnb, we're going to be able to do laundry and we're going to be able to like wash the clothes that we've already used. So I might just like mix and match certain things. First thing I did want to pack is this from Sara that is like brand new and I bought it specifically for this trip. They are some white pants and I think I'm so happy with them because they were the pants that I was looking in Pinterest that everybody had in like their cold outfits. Look at these. These are like so baggy and they're so cute. Like they like tell me they don't look like a cloud because they do. And here are all the pants that I've packed. I'm going to get you guys a little bit of this. No, I don't, I don't want to put it on the floor. So this is pant number two. It's like this gold beige thingy. It's very baggy and I think it's definitely going to go with red. So I'm going to see what red I can find in my closet that'll go with it. 
right now it's winter in Europe, so I'm gonna be trying to get like very warm outfits. I'm not gonna be able to do like anything summer, which is good because Panama, I'm telling you, Panama is probably one of the hottest countries in Latin America right now because when I'm telling you that it's eternal summer in this place, it is because it literally melts your skin. Last time, my cousin went to the beach and her skin literally started melting on top of her head. And she went to the beach a few days ago as well and she sent me a picture of the top of her head and it was literally so red. Like, I was in shock. I was in like utter shock. And I also packed these jeans that, um, you know, classic jeans. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna sell them with, but I'll, I'll see. Next up, we have these other white pants that are a little bit less baggy. They're more like, they're a little bit wetter than the other ones. The other ones are a little bit um, more like light beige. I, I think these are gonna go with blue. I don't really know what I'm gonna style these with. I'm gonna see. Like, I'm gonna base my outfits on the pants. And last but not least, we have these black pants. They're kind of like flare leggings and they're pretty bad as well. But I think these would go really well with anything. So I'm just gonna be able to um, make mix and match a bunch of these pants um with several sweatshirts and now for the sweatshirts i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna get first off we have this sweater that is like american horror story um i remember this character played by evan peters um had this shirt um this is like a ripoff of the brandy melville but um i got it on h&m which is why it's a ripoff but I still really love this shirt. Like I have worn it before in Europe and in Brazil. And I'm telling you that this is like super warm. It's super duper warm. Next up we have this blue sweatshirt that says create more art. Like I know that you guys probably can't see it from there, but I'm gonna zoom in and try to let you guys see it. But I really love this. I feel like this goes really well with the pants that I just bought. Like I think baggy on baggy, Sometimes it doesn't look good, but when you know how to style baggy on baggy, you're like the fashion goddess. Next up, we have this red Ralph Lauren sweatshirt, and I think it's so cute. I really like this bear, and it's it's actually like Christmas, but I wear it all the time, even though Christmas is like already passed. And I, I just love this so much. I feel like rocking it in Europe is gonna be like one of the best things ever. I think I'm gonna wear this probably with the jeans or with the golden pants because I feel like that's going to look kind of cool and under all of this, because it's winter I think I'm going to have to layer something under like some underwear maybe I don't really know what underwears I'm taking because my mom is the one that has them right now here is the next piece which is actually like a Disney shirt and I think you guys have seen this before in my other vlogs but this green color is so pretty and I feel like this is like so cute and I actually bought this in a Primark of Spain, so I think this is going right back to where it was. I'm actually so excited to go and do some shopping over there. I literally have been saving money. That's actually a lie, because I've been spending some of my money, but um, I did save a few bucks because I want to buy one of those like off-the-shoulder knit sweaters and I'm thinking that maybe I could get those on Sara. If you guys don't know, Sara is actually from Spain. So I'm thinking it's like the perfect opportunity to actually get some like stuff from Sara because it's in where I live, Sara is pretty expensive. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm thinking I could get those for cheaper over there. Lastly, I'm thinking this Harry Potter shirt looks so incredibly perfect for winter in Europe and I feel like I don't even have to layer anything underneath because this thing, I'm telling you, it's super warm. I think it's like the warmest shirt that I'm packing because it's literally wool. It's not even like a cotton sweatshirt. I think that is all of those sweatshirts and pants that I'm going to be taking. And if you guys were curious about what's going to be my airport fit, even though it's going to be winter, I'm going to be wearing this shirt with a literally gray shorts. I know. I'm probably going to go freezing because it's winter, but I don't care because I want to be fashion. And I decided like, if I get cold, if I get hypothermia, well, I'll get hypothermia. I'll go to the hospital or die, whatever. I'll die fashion, whatever, whatever. I will die, but I will be fashion in that casket. 
Hey guys, all right, we're finally at the airport and um, Okay, we're finally at the airport and we're going to get a Starbucks just cuz our plane leaves in about like two hours No sales Anyway, um, so yeah, I have already put on my coat because the airport is cold and I didn't realize I was gonna be cold because we live in Panama, which is like a pretty hot country and so I don't think it was meant to be this cold. I don't know why it is um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to Starbucks. I look like a mess and also the background noise is gonna be very loud. We're basically in the airport in Madrid and we have to take a connection flight to Valencia and we're gonna be staying for two nights in Valencia. And right now we're eating. We're, we're eating at this restaurant called Hannes. We just got to Valencia and I am in shorts right now in the middle of winter but it's actually kind of like doable like it's not that cold i thought it was gonna be a lot worse but it, it's not 